So this, sorry, excuse me, I'm trying to multitask, is Northbrook Lock. And my favourite places on the entire inland waterways network. This is now a boat with St Joseph. We're just about to pull him into the side and single hand the lock. Right, so there might be some putting down of the phone at some points, but we should be able to do most of this whilst holding the phone. So, first we're going to do two loops around here. And that should be fine. Then we're going to pick the windlass up from wherever I left it. There we go. And uh, oh, this lock is actually full. So the uh, previous two locks I've come through this evening were not. So we'll just test the gate and see if it is in fact level and openable. Yes it is. So I've not had to do those two paddles. So I thought it was full, which is why I didn't actually tie Vinny up there. Because I don't need to. So uh, I can take the windlass back to the boat as well actually because this is unusual. So normally what I would do is that I would normally now Put the windlass down here so we'll do it anyway so i would normally have opened these two paddles let all the water into the lock whilst finney was tied up and then i would normally come back here well i would wait until the lock was full so back to the boat, carefully step on, throw the rope on, chuck it in there so it doesn't go anywhere and when I did the video before of locking up this wasn't quite so complex. So now we're going to move Vinny into the lock. So normally what I would do as I say uh, if I'd had to fill the lock the two paddles would be open and uh, oh, it's such a pretty. Can you see how pretty this is? This is awesome. It's, it's, it, it, as I say, it is one of my favourite places. So I'm um, just going to change hands, Mo, because of the side of the lock. So normally, what I would do is, as we're coming in, as you can see down the side of the boat. As we're coming in, normally what I would do is start slowing Vinny down as soon as we're straight. Step off the boat. So I'd slow Vinny down now to a dead crawl. Step off the boat. Wind down that paddle. Let Vinny go far enough to get past the gate. which would be about here. So I'm going to put him into reverse now so that he can just sidle up to the next gate, at the bottom gates. So he's at a dead crawl, as you can see, which means I can now step over the lock gate and close it behind him. But I would normally have stepped off, done that paddle first, then closed the gate behind him, and then I would have walked over and close that paddle, not forgetting that my windlass is over there, because this is not normal procedure. Well, obviously it is if the lock's full and you're going down, but there we go. Right, so Vinny is gently moseying up to that bottom gate there, and we'll pick up the windlass, which would normally be in my hand at this point, so I'll just close that one. So we check that the gate is not going to swing itself open, which may be why, maybe that's why it filled itself, I don't know. We shall see. Well, no, that wouldn't happen, would it? 
a stupid comment, Richard. So, I may have to put the phone down at this point because what we can't do is just open those paddles. We need to have the rope from the front of the boat. So I shall just pull Vinny across towards me. And the rope is looped around the dragon, which I remember from the last lock. So we'll take the rope off the dragon, and then we'll take the rope. Not helpful. Gas lock event. We'll take the rope to the side in case anything untoward happens. But Vinny is still going forwards. So Check the ratchet is on there. Wind up the first paddle. So you can see Vinny is going to bounce off the gate, which is perfect because otherwise I'd have had to pull him back because I don't want to lose the button fender if he were to end up on the front. So you can see a little bit of tension on the rope and he comes back. You can also see that the button fender is going to line up now with the gate. So when he starts coming forwards, leave the rope on the lock side because the behavior, so you can see he's sticking to the bottom gate. So as he's sticking to the bottom gate, sometimes I'll throw the rope over to this side if I have any concerns about the behavior of the boat. But the boat is clearly sticking. So he's now going to stick to the front gate. Got that paddle open. I checked the ratchet before I did it. So Vinny is now going to slide down the front gate. Okay. And the water fluid dynamics are going to keep the boat at the front of the lock. And Vinny is a royal behaved boat. So we will walk back over with the windlass because this is a single bottom gate so when we open the gate you will see that both of the paddles will be on the correct side so why have we got the rope well the reason we've got the rope is that the back of the lock is a thing called a sill and you can't see the sill yet it's a little bit that juts out makes the lock work properly. So it's basically so that the gate can sit on something. You can see Vinny starting to go back slightly. I might have to pull on his rope but you can also see the sill starting to appear. And how boats end up getting sealed, getting uh, How boats end up in distress in locks is they end up on the sill. Now, as you can see, we can already see the sill. I think we might actually be down because this is a very shallow lock. Let's have a look. That seems about right. So I think the only reason Vinny was going backwards is because he actually is at the bottom of the lock. So we can test that theory. We're pushing the gate with my back. Yeah, so Vinny's, Vinny's down basically. So, the one thing I need to be careful of now, I should have actually let him carry on moving backwards. Uh, I should have just used that as a telltale. The one thing I have to be careful is that I don't knock the front fender of the boat off with the gate. So we're just going to go very carefully here. Go on Vinny, move backwards slightly. Could always use the rope. I've still got the rope off. You're going to be a pain, aren't you? Right, so normally I would have called the rope up by now and put it back on the boat. Thankfully, I still have it, so I can pull that. And then what I do is I call the rope up and I drop it back on the prow of the boat. Normally I do that as soon as let's look at that gate that's right normally i do that 
as soon as I can see the sill. Because if you can see the sill at the back, then obviously, I just need to lift this ratchet to do this. If you can see the sill at the back, obviously the boat can't end up on top of it and then dive forward into the lock and sink. That's one of them done. So I just got doing that with a ratchet. Let's put that on. Uh, this is going to be tricky to do. Let's see if we can get down there with the camera. I'm going to have to change hands. Lift the ratchet up. And then I'm going to lower this paddle. It's, it's bad form to drop paddles, so that's how they get broken. The term drop the paddles is not considered good form at all. As you can see, this is a fairly shallow lock, so some people pull boats out. The single bottom gate you don't need to. You can see it's a fairly shallow lock, so I can simply step onto the boat, put the windlass somewhere reasonable, jump down into the engine room, and motor out of the lock. So, when we first started working the boat, obviously Sarah would be most with me most of the time. But I actually really enjoy single handling the boat. Uh, going up I did a video which is far too long and tedious. But um, all I have to do now is be careful as I'm going out of the lock. Uh, because at the bottom I'm going to have to probably use the rope on this one. I can't remember how long the tail is of the lock. But basically I need to go back up and shut the gate uh, and once I've shut the gate uh, which I won't video probably let's just slow Vinny down I can't remember what the tail of this one's like which is why I'm going slowly oh yeah there's a step there so as you can see step there. So basically, now that Vinny has gone past the tail end of the lock, and the gate won't close on him, without being too precious about it, I can basically now get off the boat, walk back up the tail of the lock, close the gate, which is relatively it's not actually that heavy this one because it's a relatively shallow lock I can't remember what it said about five feet so I can close this gate there we go boat is just sat there gradually creeping forwards which is good because he's now completely clear of the gate do a visual check one two three four paddles are all down gates are all shut walk back down the lock back up the boat hey presto single handing down the lock demystified I'm not going much further I'm just going around the next corner to a place that I really like as you can see it's quite dark it's half past nine and uh, yeah this is one of my favorite sections of canal uh, I would say an absolutely beautiful location for a lock in the middle of nowhere uh, we're south of Hayford uh, going towards Kirtlington which isn't actually on the canal but we're going to get there the uh, Banbury to Oxford railway line, so the GWR extension up from Oxford is over there. Uh, and um, yeah, I'm just going around the next the next bend, really, a couple of bridges to a section that I love even more than this. What a beautiful location for a lock. This is great. Slap bag in the middle of a wood. No, no, 